ThoughtSpot is an AI-powered analytics platform that empowers everyone to ask any data questions in natural language to get answers more efficiently and effectively. And it just completed a $200 million acquisition of Mode Analytics. Joining me now to talk more about this is the CEO of ThoughtSpot, Sadish Nair. Congratulations, Sadish. Thank you for having us here in Trinity, appreciate it. Absolutely, why did ThoughtSpot acquire Mode? It's very simple, you know, I believe that there is an opportunity to build what I call a company of consequences. And what I mean by that, build a company that matters. And to do that, you need the best people, the best tech on our side. And when we looked at Mode, we saw that it's a complementary uh, company, uh, delivering a complementary product with a similar mission mm -hmm. of making the world more fact-driven. Uh, so it aligned with us, our, where we want to take the company, and it made perfect sense, so we came together. Now tell me how this acquisition changes where ThoughtSpot sits across the market and among its competitors. Look, I um, don't spend a lot of time thinking about competitors, even though I like to sort of uh, poke fun of them at uh, you know in social media and all of that. I uh, remember I mentioned like the idea of building a company of consequences. Let me try to explain that a bit more. Okay. I believe that today analytics is kind of broken. Uh, I mean, you, uh, a content creator. Analytics should invis you know, it should be invisible and helping you make your life better, your outcomes better, and make you more productive, as opposed to analytics being something that you do apart from your job. Mm -hmm. So if we want to make analytics invisible, yet make you focus on the outcomes that are provided by analytics, we need to fundamentally flip how we do analytics. And what I mean by that is make it accessible to everyone. So people with questions should be able to find the answers. I don't want you to go down and speak to others just to do your job. Mm -hmm. And to make that happen, you have to fundamentally rebuild how analytics is done. And what Mode does, they are the analytics product that analysts use before sort of grown-ups come in. And what I mean by that is, they, they provide, uh, Mode provided uh, SQL workbench. So people who can code and find the insight and then create charts and dashboards without worrying about governance and control and all of that. It provides ultimate flexibility. At some point, the grown-ups will step in and say, oh, let's not have that much freedom. Let's worry about security, governance, and control. And that's where the other old-school BI products will come in. And would you say that's how it fits into your broader Gen AI story? For Gen AI, though, it's, a, it's a, what we see, the, the reason I thought, you know, Mode plus ThoughtSpot coming together is great right now is because it has to have a glue Gen AI has become the glue, in the sense that now you can create any charts as advanced as you want using mode, pin them to ThoughtSpot Live board, and then you can start searching through natural language. And generative AI is playing a part across all of those things. What is the future for the modern data stack and analytics in the era of Gen AI? The whole entire stack is going to get rebuilt. I don't believe in the idea of modern data stack as much as I believe in the idea that AI will stitch everything together. So think of it like AI-driven stack mm -hmm. for analytics. And sit on top of Snowflake, Databricks, and others. The system should figure out how should the metadata be built? What is a semantic model? How do I understand the right metrics and right measures for the user who's asking the question? All of these areas, AI can significantly help bring people together and simplify the work profile in a way that people can focus more on the outcome as opposed to how to stitch together. More focus on the why instead of the what or the how. Making it uh, more efficient and effective. Thank you so much, Sadish, for joining me today. Thank you for having me here, Trinity. Appreciate it.